Hello. Hi. I am Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. And I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Now, I know that not every place in the world celebrates Valentine's Day. So we're going to talk about the entire month of February. February is the month of love. And there's a lot going on with it. So here in my own country, there's a focus on the heart, getting your heart healthy, exercising, etc., making good, healthy choices. And it's sort of the carryover from those uh, New Year's resolutions. But what is this entire month about? It is about resolutions. It's about being resolved. It's about things resolving. And it is about keeping the resolution that you made a way long time ago. How long ago? Really long ago. And you're here now. And you're actually right at the tail end of certain things and the brand new beginning of other things. So to get started, a little bit of what I want to talk to you about are these energies. Now, we just had a full moon a lunar eclipse, I like to call that moon the quickening moon, even though it was called the snow moon. And the snow is significant because that can still happen this month in the northern hemisphere. Uh, we've had some pretty top snowstorms here in February here in the area where I live. So it can happen. But it's also the quickening of the heart. There's a quickening pace to things. There is a big push. There is a narrowing. And this is going to get tighter and more pressured. And you may have a sense of urgency. Now, if like me, if you're a Blu-ray and you've had this sense of urgency, like we've got to get there, we've got to get this done, that's important because there are things that you're here to do as well. There are things about some of the other aspects that are going on here. Um, there was also Comet. Comet comes around about every five and about a third year. Comes around. It was a green Comet. So the green is bringing in a lot of healing energy, a lot of love. The green healing aspects of the heart and much of the outer. And by outer, I mean cosmic stuff. And as you know, some of you who have identified with different uh, systems, star systems, you'll know what I'm talking about. And at the same time, you have a life to lead here or a life to finish. Many of you do have made the decision in confirmation with your early on agreement that this is your last karmic life and you are not coming back for another go around. If, like me, you have decided that you are not coming back here to the same type of life, to the same old situations, to the same levels of pain, to the same degree of healing, and on and on and on until it goes wah, 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 then time to do something. So what else is happening with these energies? Well, you're also in a Jupiter retrograde. And this is also going to be about resolution because Jupiter has some of those energies. And Jupiter is also magical. Jupiter is the magic that is inherent in a surprise party or Santa Claus at the holidays or some of the traditions where a magical being brings gifts especially to children. So if you're open and you are purifying yourself and coming back to your innocent purity like a child would, be expectant because you're going to get some surprises here along the way. Now, coming up here, we're going into some other energetics. We're going to have the spring equinox. And like I told people last year around this time of year, I don't care what you do, Focus, 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 focus on your true love, focus on getting things and doing something every single day. Also, the equinox, 
as we go into the spring equinox, this is going to be another turning point. This is also a galactic turning point. It is along the ecliptic of the galactic equator, and it's going to mean positive changes. It's also going to mean changes for other people. So I have a, a little bit of an inspiration here for you. As you're going about your day and you're releasing, and you're not knowing what some of it is that you're releasing, you have the mystery of your stories, okay? And what are some of your stories? What are some of the backstories of you and your twin? And to a large degree, it's been archived. And yet, you'll be aware of some things. So what does it contain in it? Does it contain psychics and psychic ability, consulting a psychic? feeling things out, trying to get to the spiritual level of why things are happening. And I will say for those people who are very aware, there's another level here for you. It's the cosmic level. Does your backstory have to do with bad parenting? Does it have to do with coming of age stories and things that have happened to you? Maybe it's been humiliation. Maybe it's been bullying. Maybe it's been some other kind of hurt. Maybe it's been an introduction to drugs and alcohol, which people take in stride and think, well, that's, that's a rite of passage also. Has it been certain ancient rituals that you've endured as a child in various cultures? It probably has. And yet, to a large extent, will you have the book about it? The book has been sealed and closed. All you'll have are certain vague impressions, and you're left with what to do about it. Or some other people's stories may include orphans, abandonment, being orphaned, giving children up for adoption, taking in foster children, wishing to be a foster parent, wishing to take in children caring for orphans, healing these aspects of childhood. Can it include ghosts, the ghosts of the past, the ghosts of the present, a ghost that lives in your house, spiritual entities, thought forms? What is a thought form and what isn't a thought form? What is a true entity of the light and what's simply a thought form? And what's the truth? and cults, who has been using your sacred energy and gearing it up and using it over and over, or focusing on one entity and just drawing things in, who has been using your love energy? And these are things that come up for people. Many of these things have started with very good intentions, but yet what are the details of the book of your heart? It's sealed up. How do you access this? How do you gain the knowledge and the guidance that you need for your union? You know, if you place this down on earth, these are couples that you're talking about. Now, she loves to go work out every single day. And yet when she goes, she sees him. And he's so handsome, he's slightly younger. He's very buff. He is like really, really an awesome specimen of manhood. And yet he's very quiet and she doesn't know. And lately she's been having dreams with them. And he's completely oblivious. He doesn't know. He's completely unaware. What does she do? How does she resolve this? How does she broach the subject with him? Who is he to her? How does she connect? If this is someone that she's supposed to connect with, how does she do it? How does she figure it out? Well, I can tell you one thing. It's not going to be with the head, and it may not initially be through a conversation. Because if he's in his ego, and when she looks at him, she wonders, does he have a big head? Does he think he's the hottest person here? Does he just think he's Mr. Man and 
you know, who's he going to think I am? I mean, after all, I, I think I'm a couple years older than him. How is he going to know who I am? But he's got to know. He's right there in my dreams. He's got to know, doesn't he? And they're both left scratching their heads. And on his end, he's saying, why is that lady always looking at me? I mean, she's very attractive. There's something familiar about her, but I can't pinpoint it. I just came to work out in de-stress. I wish people would stop bothering me and looking at me. It makes me very self-conscious. I just, maybe if I don't make eye contact. There he goes again. He broke off the eye contact just when I was feeling. Oh, my goodness. What what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And neither one of them will know what to do because their connection is happening up here. It's about to come down to earth. Okay? You have another couple. Okay? You have a gay couple. And they've met, and they really love each other. And yet, one is in the military. Well, now that everything is very open, he can openly be in the military and be in love. However, behind closed doors, it is a different story. And this one is very gentle and artistic, except sometimes he gets triggered. He gets triggered with certain things. And they will have a conversation. and. He will come home and say, oh, what's for dinner? I hope you're making that thing again. Oh, no, please don't tell me he used a tone of voice with me. Who does he think I am? Does he think I just stay in the kitchen all day? Does he just think I'm here to do his bidding after he's been off at war? I'm going to tell him a thing or two, but no, maybe I shouldn't. I'm just going to, I'll just keep it to myself. I don't know, all of a sudden, I've got a stomach ache. Why, why are you making something or not? Or should, should we do something? Why is he always so vague with me? Why doesn't he just tell me he loves me? I just don't know why all of a sudden when I walk in a door, he gets that look on his face. I, I don't understand it. I just, I do my best. I've learned how to control my emotions. Why doesn't he? Every time he gets to talking to me about this, it's like somehow we just pull further apart. And I don't even know what happened. I don't know what just happened. But now I'm feeling really angry, really angry. I'm going to tell him, why do you come home at the end of the day and just walk in and just expect things? I don't know. I was just asking a question. No, you didn't. You used a tone of voice. Well, I, I didn't use a tone of voice. I was actually very happy to be home. Well, it, it just, it sounded like a tone of voice. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, oh my gosh, my dad always jumped all over us and claimed we were just being sarcastic when we weren't. Oh no. Oh no. I'm using my family patterns here. Um, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm just, I'm too upset right now to make anything. Maybe we should go out to eat. Well, but I'm pretty tired and, you know, I've worked hard. You know, we were training today and I just, I was hoping for a nice quiet evening. Well, it's Valentine's Day and I don't know what you expected from me. Well, I didn't forget it's Valentine's Day. I mean, we're going to be doing things the whole month. Remember the plan we made for next weekend? Well, yes, I do, but I I don't understand. Like, you got me all upset, but I didn't do anything. I just, oh my goodness. My training helps me to get through situations and be very calm and rational, but it never prepared me for being in a home with someone who is so excitable. I, he's a lot of fun, and we have a great time together, but these moments are just Gosh, they just sort of shred me. I don't really understand it. What did I do wrong? All I'm doing is coming home. Where's my home? And guess what happened? Their home is becoming a battlefield. Little does one realize that the rage that might be felt has been simmering in here since childhood. And how does he get it out? How does this one help this one? 
how do the two lovers come back into love and not pull apart? And here you have another couple. This one, he's a very gentle giant, but you can't tell by looking at him. He grew up where he had to put on a very brave face, a very strong facade. And yet, every time he sees his true love, he just melts. He just absolutely melts. He's not very good at expression. Inside him, he's writing poetry to her. And yet, she can't feel it. When I see you, I see the moon and the stars. Your eyes glimmer like a thousand stars in the night sky. Won't you be mine forever and come fly away with me? And here's her. There he goes again. I don't know what he's looking at. Why is he looking at me like that? It's like he's not focusing on what I'm saying. I grew up with five brothers, and I know how men are. And I'm sure he's thinking something else. And I remember when my brothers, they would all came, they would just be talking and talking, and they wouldn't listen, and they completely disregarded anyone who was female. I've about had it. Why does he not look at me and talk to me? I get all tongue-tied when I'm around her. I cannot speak. There's something that happens with my voice where I'm expressing things, but she can't feel or hear me. Why does that happen? Am I the only one hearing and feeling this? I'll have you know that on the islands, men know how to express themselves, but I'm not from the islands. I'm from the United States. I have a long history here. My family came, been here for 200 years. We've been here a really long time. I, I don't know how they do things in the island, but I love your cooking. I love it. Well, men are macho. They're very tough. And somehow when I'm around you, you just get, I don't know, kind of soft. And, and I don't know, it's like you don't want to fight for me or anything. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight. I had a fight all growing up in my neighborhood. I, I don't I just I don't do that. That's not who I am. I could never do that to you. Well, I just don't understand American men. You know, in the DR, people do things a certain way and sometimes they think they know who I am, but they just don't. They just don't. I'm a queen. I am a Queen, I am a regal being, and I demand respect. And he's scratching his head, and somehow in this conversation, they've pulled away from each other. He is her king, and they are here for their kingdom and queendom. But how are they going to get it together? And what about all these dreams that people are having? You're dreaming for a reason. So, if you want to know more about this month, Valentine's Day, not just Valentine's Day, this month, carrying you through to the equinox, what are your stories? What are the things that you're resolved to get finished? What is it that you should do? Please check out my very new thing that I'm calling Blue Infusion. And yes, keep calm, the blue rays are on it. Yes. This is the uh, mini coaching group. I end it with a cosmic chakra meditation for you. And even if you've had a cosmic heart reconnection, and yes, that's something I still do offer, this is also where you can talk. It's safe. You are in a safe space. It's not the Wild West of the Internet. Um, social media. It is focused on you and your twin flame. There are gifts that I have to enable you to deepen and heighten your own journey and to come back into each other. Not just being together, coming back into each other. So can you say they're not into each other? He is really into her. She is really into him. Although sometimes her head gets in the way. 
her ego gets in the way. She is very afraid of seeing family patterns repeated. She's very afraid of losing ground that she's gained. She's very afraid that she'll become disrespected on the other side of the marriage door. She wants very much to be married. She has had it with a lot of the stuff that goes on with people just hitting and quitting relationships. And he has been waiting most of his life for what he has felt his heart tell him. You're here to be with your true love. Stick to it. Be selective. Be discerning. And he hasn't always known how that is. How is he going to do that? How should he? He's made bad relationship mistakes. They're both getting rid of all of the male-female relationship dynamics. And it's not just male-female. Masculine and feminine exist within gay couples. And whether they are gay, lesbian, trans, or intersex, which is chromosomally having the attributes of both gender bodies somewhere on your body. That's a loose description. Okay. There's there's a whole spectrum of chromosomal anomalies. But for right now, what we're talking about is masculine and feminine and old stuff. Old relationship dynamics. So if you want this to be the month of love for you, check it out. The links are below. It's on my website. I'm doing it every week for the next six weeks. It's very reasonably priced. I feel like you'll enjoy it. You'll get a lot out of it. And not only that, it's focused on you. And it is interactive, which many people like. It could be as interactive as you want or as listening as you want. Listening, but I guarantee you'll feel. So. If you would like to have a very, very, very good week, please focus on love. Woo each other. Get each other. Write each other something. Focus on your true love. See them. Don't be afraid. This is continuing whether people like it or not. And why not make it easier on yourself? Thank you so much for listening. And please have a wonderful week. I will be back with more because, as I say, we're um, the March equinox. That's pivotal. And, you know, like to be able to help you along here. Thank you so much. Bye now.